Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I would like to introduce the third part of the Brute Force Explorer channel. Um, ATVs, and we have adventure motorcycling, and the third part, which we just got into, is off-grid camping. And I am going to show you and detail the growth of this whole thing. Um, we bought a 2004 adventure camper, um, truck camper, that fits on the back of my 2021 um, Ram 1500 Warlock. And I want to show you the before picture. Um, what it's going to be like, who knows? but we do plan on doing some modifications. So this is the truck camper. Got a little bit of sag. I'm gonna fix that with airbags the first time I take uh, the camper off the truck. I got it for a real good price and it's in really, really, really good shape as you're gonna see. So let's just have a tour around. So here's the back of it. Um, as you can see, it's on a little boost box because this is a light enough truck camper to fit the payload rating of my truck. Um, I just did the math and it is 1,070 pounds when there's no water in it. Um, it's 1170 when it has 45 liters of water in it. Um, this was made for a shorter, I'm sorry, a shorter cab like a Tacoma. But uh, because of the low payload capacity on Ram 1500 Classic trucks, I needed to get a lighter camper, and here she is. So uh, let's go inside. So here we are inside. Um, I am sitting on the step up to the bed and facing the back door. And as you can see, it's got windows all around. And it has a little couch there, and it has a little couch there. It's got a table that comes off that uh, it pops out of the floor, and the table pops out of the um, of that little riser tube, and the table goes across there to make another bed. That cushion and that cushion span the gap, and then you have another bed that can fit, you know, a couple kids or an adult or maybe if they want to get comfortable a couple adults and the fire extinguisher and cabinetry all the way around it's got a range hood that runs off of battery and it has a gas range which is pretty awesome and it, and it all works which is I'm pretty stoked about that uh, so let's uh have a look from the door. So we have some more cabinetry here and we have a thermostat for the furnace that is right there. That there is a, uh, a fuse panel. Under there we have a porta potty. Right there is the water storage that we're not currently using because we just didn't fill it full of water. Lots and lots of storage space here. Um, and it goes in deep too. So we keep our backpacks, our hiking backpacks in there and our travel mugs and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, right here is this. Right here is a Dometic or Dometic. I'm not sure how you say it, but whatever. Uh, Either it runs off shore power or it runs off propane. And we have it currently running off of propane and it works well. Icy, icy cold. Have some uh, lights that run off of batteries as well. I am going to be quickly replacing these uh, uh, regular light bulbs with LEDs just so I can run them longer. Um, yeah. Oh, also has a sink and a cutting board. The, uh, 
the tap here. That's the water storage there, and you just hand pump it, and the water comes out of there when we get around to filling it up. So this here is the overhang of the truck with a double bed. I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, I fit in it well, and my wife fits in there with me good. So, and there is a sort of skylight type um, hatch, and you can get out onto the roof. So, this is the inside. Oh, there's also this fan here, and that runs off of battery. As you can tell, the blades are in dire need of being dusted off. Yeah, so this is the before picture, everybody. This is what I am going to be modifying and making my own. There's the step that goes up to the bed, the range, the bed, all the cabinetry. Lots and lots and lots and lots of storage space here. And I'm really, su I'm super surprised actually how big it is inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And then the, the floor's not mushy at all. It's very solid. No leaks. Um, I'm very happy with this so far. So welcome to my camper. We've yet to name it, but uh, it'll get a name and it'll get stickers and it'll get customized. And we're going to have some fun doing this. And I want to bring all you guys along on the adventure. Uh, we've been campground camping twice in it and boondocking in it once. So I am going to absolutely chronicle this and let you guys enjoy the show. Anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming along and like, share and subscribe. Thank you.